All around Sri Lanka, coral reefs are dying out. From climate change to ocean pollution and decades of industry exploitation, their health and numbers have experienced a steep decline over the last century. But is there hope to restore them? My name is Shadi Greenwood and I am Miss Sri Lanka for Miss World 2021 and I am the Social and Sustainability Ambassador of the Tokyo Cement Group. We are here in Room Masala to find out how Sri Lanka's largest cement manufacturer is restoring and changing course of the decline of our coral reefs. Coral reefs are extremely important in terms of refuges of biodiversity. They provide uh, breeding grounds, feeding habitats, nursery grounds for a wide range of species globally. Uh, similarly, in Sri Lanka, they contain uh, the highest marine biodiversity as well. Uh, for people, they're also very important because, because they're breeding grounds for many commercially important species of fish that we eat. They are very important for reef-based fisheries. Despite their inherent value to our ecology, our coral reefs weren't always protected by law. Over the past several decades, human activity and climate change have wiped out 90% of our coral habitats. Historically, probably the single biggest threat to coral reefs in Sri Lanka was coral mining. In more recent times, its overfishing is probably the main threat. Uh, the use of destructive fishing methods like dynamite, certain prohibited types of fishing nets like bottom set nets can cause a lot of habitat damage and also kind of overexploit fish populations. And of course, pollution. Both what we see as solid waste pollution and also pollution from agriculture and upriver sources from nutrient runoff from and pesticides as well. Losing coral reefs would mean not only losing the biodiversity, which you know is important as a, as a biodiverse refuge, but also for people who depend on coral reefs. If you have a lot of fisheries dependent on coral reefs, the collapse of the coral reef ecosystem, the collapse of fish populations is going to affect the livelihoods of people. Also, if you physically remove the coral reefs, like we had with the coral mining historically, you can increase sea erosion because coral reefs actually help to prevent sea erosion. And also tourism actually, uh, dependent on coral reefs for snorkeling tours, uh, diving, all of these are going to significantly suffer when the coral reefs that people come to see are destroyed. In the 1980s, the government started banning coral mining and destructive fishing activities to help limit the destruction of coral reefs. Since then, coral conservation and replanting efforts like this have been helping our corals make a comeback. Tokyo Cement uh, uh, inspired in this coral reef restoration project uh, as the, I mean, big corporate entity where we deal with the cement. The basic idea came from our R&D department to upscale, upcycle our waste concrete products to reef balls. We have many partners, uh, based, uh, mainly uh, Blue Resources Trust and Ocean Resource Conservation Association, ORCA, and uh, Navy also our key partner. We started working with uh, Tokyo Cement uh, in 2019. We initially installed a pilot project of uh, about 20 domes in uh, Ruma Cellar. On that 20 domes, we have already planted about 500 species of uh, coral onto them. Today, Tokyo Cement's reef rehabilitation is actively planting these makeshift coral nurseries in major coral reef hotspots around Sri Lanka. From here in Gaul to Parsikuda, Trincomalee, Jaffna, Kalpitya, and Sinigama. The use of coral domes is one of the best ways that we can do in uh, uh, restoring these habitats and the structure of the reef and it provides very good substrates for replanting coral. Labadana domes thala kadicha coral kotas ek tu kalla pare vena ma api tawana kadal tiyena. E tawana ta tiyala tawana indala e labana season eke ken maasa hayakin hatakin indala api nawate concrete dome walta coral inda. E coral සාමාන්‍ය මාසෙකට සෙන්ටිමීටර් එකක් විතර වර්ධනය වෙනවා. අවුරුද්දක් ඇතුළත සෙන්ටිමීටර් 24ක් 30ක් විතර ප්‍රමාණයක් වර්ධනය වෙනවා කොරල් විශේෂ. So that's where the coral reef restoration has a key role in the long term recovery of reefs where you create these uh, pockets of diversity and pockets of habitat diversity uh, for the reefs to recover. ඇත්තටම මම ගමේ කෙනෙක් හැටියට මේක සෑහෙන්න වටිනවා. මොකද දැන් සංචාරක ව්‍යාපාරය ගොඩක් දියුණු වෙලා තියෙනවා රූමස්සල. ඒක 
මේ කරන දෙයින් මා ඒ වගේම මාළු පැටව බෝ වෙන්න මේ දාන ඩෝම්ස් එක මාළු බෝ වෙන්න සංචාරක ව්‍යාපාරයට මේ ග්ලාස් බෝට් වල ජොබ් කරන අයට සෑහෙන වටනවා ඉතින් මේ කරන දෙ ඒ නිසා ඉතින් අපි මමත් උත්සාහ කරන අපේ ආයතනයේ වර්ක් ආයතනයත් උත්සාහ කරනවා මේ හොඳ පරේ කොටසක් හරි හදලා Despite legal protection and ongoing conservation efforts, Sri Lanka's coral reefs are still threatened by issues like pollution, climate change and illegal fishing practices. So there is still a great deal more that needs to be done. When we start projects, we uh, stay with the organizations in long term whatever we can do to uh, rehabilitate and support the research uh, community uh, to continue their work time is running out to save what remains of our coral reef but thanks to restoration efforts like this there's hope that one day we may see them return to their former glory